right, are you handsome fellas? And you ugly ones? Welcome back. Just about to make myself a coffee, but I've run out of coffee. But anyway, I've ordered these spark plugs, NGKs, NGK fucking them ones. I'll leave them in the description, you can get them on Amazon, do you know what I mean? They're for now. But we'll go and pop out, we'll change them. I haven't changed the plugs in the car for a while, I'm hoping it might sort of run an issue out I've got. If it doesn't, we'll have to get to get tuned. Can't believe I've run out of coffee. But anyway, we've got, we'll get the keys, we'll get the car out, we'll change the plugs, then I'm either going to, I went for a drive yesterday, I need to paint the garage, I might paint the garage, I need to wash the car, I might wash the car, I might just go for a drive. Three things, paint the garage, wash the car, take it for a drive. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, we're going to change the plugs. Oh yeah, let's go. So changing the spark plugs on a cosy is a proper simple job, just pull the cap off, drop your socket in but the thing what makes it hard on mine is this strut brace it literally blocks the number the number three spark plug so we've got to take the strut brace off it's like four bolts oh well let's get on so you might be wondering why i want to paint my garage and honestly it's for you see the walls have the like orange when i do a video i put the lights on and that like my faces just get I look like I've been tangoed, so I'm going to paint the walls white. I just had the house painted, and the paint was kind enough to leave us some paint. But I'm going to get my spanners, I'm going to get that stuff pierced off. The one issue I've got with the car, when it's cold, it's very, like, it's really lumpy, but it warms up. So I'm hoping, if I change the spark plugs, it's going to sort it out. There's an old Ford Forum, it's called Passion Ford. I don't know if anyone still goes on it, I used to go on it all the time when I was younger. But I've had a look on there and people are recommending a spark plug that was between 0.6 and 0.7 of a milli. So that's what we're going to go with. So according to everyone online, you want to set your plug gap. I haven't took mine out yet, I'm going to set these before I take them out. So I don't want to leave the engine, the bores open, do you know what I mean? Like with no plugs in, so I don't know what we'll get in, fucking midges or something. So people online are saying to set the gap between 0.6 and 0.7 of a milli. No, sorry, between 0.6 and 0.75 of a milli. So I've got my old failure gauge here. The biggest size on the gauge is a milli. So we want to be smaller than that. That's pretty rigid, that. We want to be about, I think we'll go for about 0.7. There's 0.6. We'll see what they set at, the plugs. These are brand new, out of the box. It's a bit bigger than point, that's 0.6, and it's a bit bigger than that. That's 0.6. See there, the 0.6. Goes on there. Still a bit of rattle on it, so they might be set at a 0.7 before I start. That would be handy, wouldn't it? 0 0.7. Hey, hey. One down, three to go up. So check all three. Oh, the bike doesn't be all set the same when you buy the new. Take that little bit of cardboard off. 0 0.7. Take that one side. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. So all the plugs came set. Let's go and stick them in. So I'm going to take one out, put one in, put the lead on. All my leads, you might think I've just muddled them up, but they've all got numbers on. That's number four, so that goes at the back. I need a cloth. I need to wonder how last hand's bad with this. So I've got my old pair of box shorts here. It's gonna give the lot of cover white to wipe down. So if you ever change your new spark plugs, do not get properly yank them in, do you know what I mean? You just wanna give them a little, just a little nip. And that's not being racist, that's just a little, just a little, do you know what I mean? Just take the slap up there and give it a little bit. So just give it a give it a little air, give it a little give it a little tighten. That's about right. One down, three to go. Let's start it up, make sure it's running alright. Fingers crossed. Really nice. We're gonna have to give it a hoover now. I feel like the car's getting absolutely neglected at the minute. Carpet is absolutely disgusting. Put the strut brace back on, give it a hoover. So obviously if you're watching this, you're cleaning cars and that, do you know what I mean? You're doing your cars. How do you hoover your carpet? Do you hoover like this? Or 
or do you do it the specialized way where all the pros do it and like this? See, the lines make a difference. Now I know what you're thinking, how's he going to wash this car when it's on roof? To be honest, I'm not really going to wash it, I'm just going to rub it down with a wet cloth. I'm going to clean the windows and I'm going to put some tie shine on, I'm going to make it look nice. It's literally the first time it's been washed this year. Oh yeah. So these wheels are an absolute ball to keep clean. So the standard ones to be fair, like these little ones with all the little spokes. It's a nightmare to get them all these little bits. So what I've got here, I've been using it for years. It's not muck off, it's Bilberry wheel cleaner. I think it says like non-corrosive, no chemicals, all this carry on. It's probably vegan or something, do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going to squirt a bit of this on and I'll give it like five minutes and I just squirt it off with the hose pipe and that's all I do but what I do do is because these are split rims genuine split rims and that's the the steel so what I do do is when I've finished I just give it a like a, a bit of polish on just to give it a coating just a bit of auto glim really just polish it up a bit you know what I mean but spray this on we'll give it five minutes and we'll wash it off with the hose pipe simple as that If you're a car detailer, I'm really sorry, you've got to watch me, watch me car like this. You're probably screaming at your phone telling us I'm doing it wrong. Sorry. Getting a log burner, I swear to God, we've just got so much wood. That's clean enough. I promise you, I'm going to polish it later. Honestly, I will do. I'll clean the wheels and I'll polish it and I'll make it look nice. Coffee in the shop, but I did get Snickers. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That shop has literally just opened like this morning. It's the first time it's ever like took customers. So I bought me coffee, it was like £2.50. The pat of burgers there and some. Microwave meals. He says, Do you want any burgers or microwave meals? I was getting nah, I might, mate. I thought, Oh, we've been eating quite a bit of burgers. How much are your burgers? Oh, they're free. We just haven't got enough room for them. I was getting, Well, I'll tap them all on your microwave meals. <laughs> How for now, Smithy? Maybe I've got some free food. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too fellas cheers for watching if you do us a favor just give us a like and subscribe helps us out do you know what i mean uh, i'll see you next time